What up nerds? My name is Leslie Smith. Welcome to The Nerdy Narrative, a channel I created in order to have a space to share about all of the things that I read. On Fridays, I like to do a weekly reading wrap up of all of the things that I've read, what I'm still working on, and then what I plan to jump into next in hopes of helping you find your next read. Before we jump into what I've been reading this week, I do want to say for those of you that are participating in the Wine and Crime book club, I do have the voting up in the Clubhouse channel to vote on the book we're going to read for July. So if you haven't been by the Discord to vote on one of those three, the link is in the Discord description box below. For those of you who might be new to the channel, the Wine and Crime Book Club is a monthly book club that I host where we read a book that is true crime, murder mystery, thriller, along those lines. I take the suggestions from everyone. There's a suggestion channel and the Discord under the Wine and Crime Book Club category where everyone can go in and put in suggestions for the club. And then I put those on a wheel. I spend it three times. I get three suggestions. I put those in Discord for everyone to vote on for the following month. So if that is something you're interested in, check that description box. Come join us on Discord. We chat about the book as we all read it. And then at the end of the month, the last Saturday of the month at 1 p.m. Eastern, I host a live show where we can all just come together and talk about our theories, people that we suspected throughout the novel. It's a lot of fun. I would love to have you. All of that's in the description box down below. As far as channel updates go, if you missed it on Monday, my latest book haul book mail video went up, which contained a few books that were sent to me and then a couple that I purchased myself for various reasons for here on the channel. On Wednesday, if you missed it, I did a little video about my review cart. And my review cart is a book cart filled with my physical TBR of books that either self published authors sent me some from small indie presses and the majority are ones that I purchased myself that I'm planning to read and review on the channel throughout the coming months. So if you miss those and you're interested in catching them, I'll have them in the cards above, also in the description box down below. All right, housekeeping is done. Let's get into the books. First up, I finished Scott Warren's Ought to Be Dead. I had so much fun with this book and I say book, but the way it is formatted and how each section is styled, it felt more like a collection of short stories of seven adventures of the main characters, Spectre and his human apprentice, Cotton. The prologue is where we meet our main character, Spectre. How we meet him, a crew of men from a ship, their inspector, their chief inspector died. So they bring his corpse to a necromancer to get her to reanimate him so he can continue doing his job. I mean, apparently if you die in this world, you don't get to rest. They wake her up, she's half asleep. So she's kind of operating in a stupor because she's just not quite awake yet. Accidentally summons this vengeful warrior spirit, Spectre, instead of the inspector. Spectre just goes right back to taking care of business from the last time he was alive, which was killing monsters. And so the seven stories or adventures following are Spectre and the apprentice he picks up along the way, Cotton, as they go around traveling and accepting bounties from different towns and villages in order to kill whatever monster might be harassing the town or villagers. Now there is an overarching plot as far as the mystery of who Spectre was in a previous life. Why did he come back as this vengeful spirit that we do get clues from each of the stories about and does get wrapped up in the end. Absolutely loved it. I would definitely recommend it. It is on the lighter side. So don't go in expecting some huge in-depth plot to each one. It's purely for fun. If Scott Warren were to put out another book of adventures of Spectre and Cotton, there would be no hesitation. That would be on my TBR and it would be moved way up in priority. I loved it. I'm definitely gonna be checking out more by him. I love the way he wrote his characters. With the story being styled the way it was, he still somehow managed to take a short amount of time to endear Spectre and Cotton to me. And I really love when characters are written that way. Once I finished Ought to Be Dead, which was the first book that I started reading for SPF Bo 8, I went into The Cradle, my second pick for SBF Bo 8 by Ron Sammy. Now this one, I did end up DNFing at the 42% mark. I just could not connect to anything. I just couldn't tell you what the plot was. 
I did not care for any of the characters. They were very flat on the page. I just couldn't get a feel or a read on them to connect or care about any of them. And the way it was told in like four different POVs, they all had a small story, but I had no idea what the purpose of that story was. And I kept waiting for somebody to cross over into somebody else's storyline. And at 42% of the way in, with me not connecting to the story, not connecting to the characters, there was nothing about it that had me wanting to pick it up. I just was not enjoying myself. So I made the decision to DNF that one. On the heels of that DNF, I did decide to start the arc for the last Blade Priest by W.P. Wiles. This one is going to be dropping from Angry Robot Books on July 12th. I am already about halfway done with it. I am having a good time. This one is definitely unique in the way that it is told and I really, really like it. So far, we have stayed in two POVs, Anar and Anton. So far, Anton is a stationary character. He resides in a fortress that is right outside this mountain called Kraith, which is their god. That is what they worship. And since he is a blade priest, that's where he stays. His story stays in this fortress the whole time, at least up until this point. The author is able to keep his story so interesting that I don't mind that I'm not moving around and seeing any scenery. In fact, Anar, the other POV, he's the one that's doing all the moving around and allowing me to see this world that this author has created. I really love it. There's some really interesting magic. It's very light on the magic so far. I don't mind because it's so interesting. Just constantly intrigued to learn more. I like that I'm learning a little bit at a time, but just to get to the bare bones gist of it, at least in regards as to where I'm at so far, Anton is a blade priest which requires him to kill for his God, human sacrifice. Anar has been tasked to go and spy on the League, the people who overthrew his people and conquered them. There is this secondary character named Lot who goes with Anar when he joins with the League to go do this task that they want him for. Lot is hilarious. He has the best lines in regards to exacting aggravation tax on the league. Like they can't fight them, but they can do other things to just hack them off. So funny. So the last Blade Priest has just been an absolute delight to read so far. And in Stephen King's Skeleton Crew collection, which I am reading as part of a read along hosted by the Bookish Drummer, link is in the description below if you want to join us. I read the Milkman one and two stories, absolutely loved them. It never ceases to amaze me how Stephen King can take something so ordinary, such as a Milkman, and make it absolutely frightening. I just love these two stories. I dearly hope we get more of them. I don't know because I haven't looked ahead. There's not any more Milkman, at least not in this collection, but it turns out I only have three stories left in this collection. Of the two short story collections I've read by Stephen King, Skeleton Crew is definitely my favorite so far. We'll see how it holds up as we continue working our way through King's other collections. I am also still working my way through Richard Thomas's Tribulations collection. I actually think I will be finishing this one this week, which means a review will be coming. And then a few days this last week, I had time to double dip and read a couple of short stories a day. So I slid in a few from Zora Neale Hurston's The Complete Stories collection. I might, depending on how things go this week, I might be able to finish this one too. Next, I got to read a story from Summer Bludgeon. Unsettling Reads Anthology will be available on June 21st, and it contains 33 original tales about Summer's darker side. Now, my sneak peek preview was of Jacob Stephen Moore's story called Song of the Summer. This story is all about the end of summer and the winds of change are blowing for these three college students. So the three kids decide to take a little camping trip out on an island that is owned by Cameron's family. But there's just something about this island. Something Cameron neglected to mention to his other two friends before bringing them out there. Something that has to do with a very mysterious and fatal unsolved incident that took place before he was born. I cannot wait to get my hands on his new collection coming out in January of next year. I will absolutely be telling you guys all about it. So keep your eyes on the channel for that coming up. Now that we've covered what I read and what I'm still working on, what am I going to read next? 
Well, I still have a little over halfway to go with the last blade priest. So that's gonna take me a few days. And once I finish that, the next one I'm gonna pick up is a highly anticipated read for me. It's a five-star prediction, which has been cemented even further by some friends of mine recently reading and reviewing and giving this one top marks. I will be reading The Coward by Stephen Aryan. I'm so excited to read this one. I have heard nothing but good things for this one. So this one is going to be the next one I'll delve into. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Mm. And while this cover on this paperback is absolutely gorgeous, it didn't stop me from getting the special numbered edition from the Broken Binding. I cannot wait to get those into my hands. That will wrap it up for me for this week, guys. That is everything that I read, what I'm still working on, what I plan to get into next. Did you see any of your favorite authors or a favorite book you've read? Have you read The Coward by Stephen Aryan? Let me know in those comments down below what you thought of it if you did. I hope you all had an amazing week of reading. I hope you have something really good lined up for this weekend. Have a great rest of your day and I'll I'll see you on Monday.